The army has moved to secure Egypt's treasures, protecting the past in a country that is getting very nervous about the future. I'm not a Swede. In the center of Cairo, they're at the Egyptian Antiquities Museum, where they keep Tutankhamun, his gold, and the legacy of the pharaohs. The army isn't moving around much. So far, their presence is about sending a message, not taking action. Volunteers were trying to clean up first thing this morning. It was as if they felt they had a bigger stake in the country now that they've defied the police state. The fire that destroyed the headquarters of the ruling party is still burning. It's as if the state has disappeared from this place, which was one of its centers of power. There are no firemen and there are certainly no police. The only thing wrong for the crowds in Tahrir Square in central Cairo, who forced the police out of here, who now have the courage to say they hate President Mubarak, is that last night he did not resign. He should go. We don't like him. It's the problem. Mohamed al Baradei, Nobel Peace Laureate, perhaps a future leader here, believes the president's time is up. People need bread and butter, people need freedom, people need dignity. The earlier that will happen, the earlier we'll be able to save Egypt and, and move in an orderly way. So you say Mubarak has to go now? This is not just me, this is 85 million people who are saying this. The crowds in Takriya Square got bigger as the day went by. Plenty said they'd stay until the president goes. And they condemned his biggest ally for protecting him and hurting them. The graffiti says President Mubarak collaborates with the Americans. The crowds want to celebrate, but they can't properly, not yet. For them and the regime, this is unknown territory. The uncertainty is producing blame and fear. There's a tense and ugly atmosphere in the back streets around the interior ministry. Our pictures of the police opening fire with tear gas have just been confiscated by a group of angry and aggressive plainclothes security men loyal to the regime. You can see the pressure they're under, but you can also feel their fear about what comes next. The way this will go could depend on the army. The crowds in the square believe they are on their side, protectors of the nation and the people. But the military has been at the center of power in Egypt since a coup in 1952. The army commanders have a big stake in the regime. And there's the night to think about, and looting in a city where the police have disappeared. Across Cairo this evening, bands of friends and neighbors are out on the streets guarding their homes and their families. All were armed, some with guns. These men believe the police have been ordered to leave their posts, to scare people into preferring the regime they know to the future they don't. Jeremy Bowen, BBC News, Cairo.